Tonight, one person's in the hospital after running for cover in Seattle Soto District, trying to escape gunfire. We're told a case of road rage may have set everything in motion. So thank you for joining us tonight. I'm David Rose. And I'm Brian Jackson. It is one of two shootings that police are now investigating tonight. First one happening in the Chinatown International District, where a man was shot near a homeless encampment and then rushed to the hospital. Now, the second happened just a few minutes later in Soto. The victim there running for cover near the Starbucks headquarters. Now, the two do not appear to be connected, but this violence has people in the area pretty shaking up. Fox 13's Dave Dattling is outside Harborview Medical Center tonight where the victims in both shootings were taken. Dave. Both victims involved in those shootings were taken here to Harborview Medical Center and are in stable condition. Now, the second victim, he wasn't shot, but he did suffer facial injuries due to a car crash, all because of that road rage incident. It started with a call to 911 around 4 o'clock. Audio from Broadcastify alerting officers of the situation. Shots heard near the Goodwill 1400 South Lane. Caller heard three shots. From Those gunshots came from inside a homeless encampment near South Lane Street and 13th Avenue. We now have a caller on the line saying he is shot. That victim, a 43-year-old man, was shot multiple times. He was treated near the Dearborn Avenue steps before being rushed to the hospital. A little more than two miles away and a few minutes later, more broadcastify scanner audio. A male victim runs to safety at the Starbucks headquarters on Utah Avenue after crashing his truck nearby. Police say he was fleeing a road rage incident that started in the 2200 block of 4th Avenue when a suspect began following the victim's vehicle in shooting. Neighbors heard a crash near First and Landers. I heard a big collision. Terry Hauser was doing work on a door in Occidental Avenue South when he saw vehicles fly by. Just Two cars just went flying by, like 50 miles an hour, and then I heard four gunshots. Uh, pop, 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 pop. The gunfire also forcing Starbucks headquarters to go into lockdown mode. An employee at the reserve saying off camera the gun violence is getting worse. Something witnesses in Wednesday's shooting say have got to stop. It's not worth that, exactly. You know, we got to give up the guns. And right now, SPD saying these cases do not appear to be linked. Meantime, no word on any suspect or vehicle descriptions. Reporting outside Harborview Medical Center, Dave Detling, Fox 13 News.